All right, uh, it's been a little while since my last video going to the mechanics of a Fordson. Uh, things were lined up and here I am. And tonight we're going to talk about uh, lubrication of a Sims diesel fuel injector off a of Fordson Major. Uh, fuel injectors are a very important part of any tractor. And these old Sims are getting more expensive to get, getting more expensive to refurbish. So if you've got one already and it's working, got to make sure it's operating properly. Part of all proper lubrication is make sure you've got the right oil and the right height and the right fill point, and we'll go into that now. So the oil on this is kept in the cam box down here. And you fill it up to the level of this leak-off pipe here. There is a coiled leak-off pipe with the screw there and, and that's your overflight uh, that's always going to make sure you maintain capacitive um, now the normal operation of the fuel injection pump there will be back leakage of fuel from the plungers and this will collect in the cam box sit on top of the oil and leak off so there'll always be lubrication in there you just need it uh, a thicker weight than the actual diesel fuel so fill it up and it will overflow out here down the leak off pipe onto the ground to fill it up we've got our inspection cover eight bolts and a paper gasket behind it this one's undone and around the inside so here you can see things like uh, plungers barrels uh, control rod forks, control rod, and we'll get into that as we go, but simple one is, is you pour the oil direct into here. You can see just in there, a bit dark, but there's some channels that go all the way down with the components. Now, these take about one-sixth of an imperial pint, not a US pint, an imperial pint. They're an English tractor. And that equates to about 80 mils. We're not talking about a whole lot of oil. Uh, and the standard of oil it uses is an SAE 30. So 10 weight 40, around about that mark in the modern terms. You can still get small amounts of SAE 30. Uh, vintage engine oils, I know they do them for lawn mowers and things like that. For 80 mils, why not get what the manual says, the SAE 30? Um, now, once you've filled it up, as I've said, there's really no need to touch it unless you notice, you know, it, it's been sitting for a while, could have dried out, leaked. If it's sitting on its side, excess fuel could have leaked out, things like that. So um, every now and then, when I say that, every couple of hundred hours, I like to just take the inspection cover off, see how everything's moving. Put a little bit of oil in there until it comes out the leak off pipe. That way I'm always guaranteed it's going to fill. All right, quick video tonight, just covering the lubrication of the Sims fuel injector pump. Uh, keep an eye out for upcoming videos on the rest of the fuel injector. Till the next one. 